Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Crochet Unicorn Pajamas Bag Tutorial. It's first part of tutorial and today I'm going to show you how to crochet the head of unicorn. And if you would like to make pajamas bag for boy, you can click the link in description of this video or just click the link above and there you can find more tutorials of pajamas bag as rabbit or lion pajamas bag. So let's crochet! For this project you will need chenille yarn. You will need two balls of chenille yarn for basic part of unicorn. If you would like to make exactly the same unicorn as me, you will need just little amount of pink color and little amount of gray color and two balls of um, white color. And for the body of unicorn, you will need this loop yarn, it's called Puffy Color from Aliza brand and it's a special, special yarn with these big loops and you will need just one ball of this yarn. And for the mane you will need some cotton yarn or mix of cotton and bamboo as me. I'm going to use Himalaya brand, it's called Deluxe Bamboo. And if you would like to have nice silver uh, horn, you will need this great silver yarn. It's called Starletta from Vlnaheb brand and you will need just little amount of this yarn and if you want you can use safety eye buttons but I'm going to uh, I'm going to sew the eyes. Also you will need scissors, yarn needle stitch marker and if you want you can use eyelashes for your safety eye buttons. Uh, you will need round rubber band, stopper if you want to have fastening as me and you will need 3mm crochet hook and 4 or 4.5mm crochet hook. Okay, I'm going to start to crochet uh, from the nose part of unicorn. So use pink color of yarn and start with magic ring. I'm using 5mm crochet hook but the head looks a little bigger so it's better when you will take 4 or 4.5 millimeters crochet hook. Chain 1 and this chain you have to count as single crochet and then make 7 single crochets into the magic ring. So 7 single crochets in magic ring plus the chain on the beginning is 8 together. So now you have to make seven single crochets into the magic ring. Maybe you tighten more than me, so five millimeters crochet hook will be okay for you. Okay, now tighten the magic ring and you have to join the round with a slip stitch and you can count from the right side and it's seventh, seventh stitch so you have to make slip stitch in this this is first stitch from the left side so you have to make slip stitch in the stitch not in chain and now we are going to work in a round so you need to know where is the beginning of round so you stitch marker and in this round in next round uh, you will make two single crochets in each stitch around so we are going to increase every stitch around and I'm going to hide the starting tail behind my work because it's less work at the end it's more comfortable for me so if you want you can follow me or you can just sew it at the end of project. You will sew it inside. Okay, in next round we are going to increase every second stitch. So I'm going to increase the first stitch, make two single crochets. 
So two single crochets in the first stitch. This is one and two. And in the next stitch make just one single crochet. Now two single crochets. And continue working two single crochets in every second stitch all the way around. Okay, in the next round we are going to increase every third stitch. So increase the first stitch and then make just one single crochet in next two stitches. And increase like this every third stitch and continue working like this all the way around. In next round increase every fourth stitch. So increase the first stitch, make two single crochets in the first stitch, then make just one single crochet in next three stitches. And increase again. So increase every fourth stitch all the way around. In next round we are going to make just one single crochet in each stitch all the way around so it will be round without chains, no increase, no decrease. Now you need to change the color, so I'm going to take the white color of yarn and if you want you can change it with your favorite way or you can change it as me and I'm going to use invisible color change. If you want to watch my single video for uh, invisible color change, you can click the link above or in description of this video. and make one single crochet in each stitch around. Okay, I am at the end of the round and in next round uh, we will not increase, we will not decrease and we have to make just one single crochet in each stitch all the way around. I hope you like my unicorn, I hope you like the pattern. If you do, put the thumb up and I will be happy for it. So continue working one single crochet in each stitch all the way around and meet me back again at the end of this round. Now it's time for increase again. So increase the first stitch, make two single crochets in the first stitch. And in this round we are going to increase every fifth stitch. So increase, then make just one single crochet in next four stitches. One, two, three and four and now increase again. So in this round you have to increase every fifth stitch around. Now 
Now it will be a little easier because we are going to make just one single crochet in each stitch all the way around and make five rounds together. If you don't subscribe my channel yet, just hit the subscribe button and the bell and then you will not miss any my video. Okay, I have five rounds of single crochets done and now uh, we have to increase again. So increase the first stitch. I'm crocheting with used yarn, that's why it's ripped. Now make one single crochet in next five stitches because in this round we are increasing every sixth stitch around. Okay, now you have to increase the first stitch and then make one single crochet in next six stitches. It means you have to increase every seventh stitch around. So in this round you have to make two single crochets in every seventh stitch all the way around. And after this round, you have to make one round of single crochet, so it will be round without change after this round. Okay, I have done one round of single crochets and now we have to increase again. So increase the first stitch and then make one single crochet in next seven stitches. So in this round, you have to increase every eighth stitch all the way around. In next round make one single crochet in each stitch all the way around and make seven rounds together. So seven rounds of single crochets. Okay, this is how it looks like and now we have to decrease. So decrease the first stitch, make two single crochets together. I'm using just um, front loops when I'm decreasing. Then make just one single crochet in the next seven stitches. And decrease again. So every eighth stitch you have to decrease in this round. And in next round you will decrease every seventh stitch around. Okay, I have two rounds of decrease done and now make just one single crochet in each stitch all the way around. So this is round uh, without change, without decrease. Okay, now you have to decrease every sixth stitch in this round, then you will decrease, after this round you will decrease every fifth stitch all the way around, then after these two rounds you have to make round without decrease, so you will make one single crochet in each stitch all the way around, and then will be rounds of decrease till the end. So. You will decrease every fourth stitch, then every third stitch, then every second stitch, and then decrease every stitch till the hole is closed. And stuff the head with hollow fiber. Okay, my head of unicorn is done, and if you want to shape the eye holes, you have to sew it from the left side to the right side and tighten. 
and now I'm going to show you how to sew the eyes and uh, one eye I have done so now you should use yarn needle and cotton black cotton yarn and count well because you want to have both eyes exactly the same so I'm going to insert my needle somewhere here and make one big stitch so it will be the uh, it will be big line big black line and then I will make eyelashes but I don't think <laughs> it's the same so I'm going to fix it you can fix it uh, you can fix it um, easily so just go back and I'm going to change it Lead the needle down. Now I'm going to make eyelashes. So you have to always insert your uh, needle uh, above the the line. So above the the big black stitch. And I'm going to make four big eyelashes and one small in the in the eye hole. So if you want, you can follow me, or you can make other eyes. You can crochet the eyes, or you can use uh, safety eye buttons. It's up to you. Okay, and this is all for today. In next part, I will show you how to crochet the horn, ears and the mane. So I hope you will watch also the second part of this tutorial and you will finish your unicorn pajamas bag with me. Thank you for watching and see you soon.